Welcome to Mouthful, the cocktail and cooking show with me, Lisa Potter Dixon. And me, Dominic Frank. Now, today we are going to be making a watermelon martini. Ooh. Delicious. Ooh. And a smash wrap burger. That, I, what? <laughs> yeah, well, I know it's a little bit of a trend thing, but it is so gorgeous. It's just a tortilla wrap with burger, kind of McDonald's style. Okay, I'm yeah, excited to try it, but I'm also thirsty, so let's get stuck in with the watermelon martini. Right, this is going to be the easiest cocktail anyone has ever made in the history of cocktails. Literally. It is, though, isn't it? Is, it is really easy. I mean, what's in it? <laughs> well, literally watermelon and vodka, and I see you've come dressed as a watermelon. Yes, look at me. This is actually gorgeous. Yeah, thanks. Apart from that dribble down it. All <laughs> right, don't talk about that. Just get on with your cocktail, beautiful <laughs> juice. <laughs> what? Okay, so I had this at a festival and you guys went crazy and were like, please show us how to make it. I was like, sure. Looked at the recipe and it was literally vodka and watermelon. So we're going to try and make it look fancy as it like, is. Put it in a jug or how are we making it? That's Should what we're going to do. Right. We freshly squeezed this watermelon juice. Ooh. We absolutely did not, we bought it. <laughs> but I just decanted it to a jug to make it look yeah, nice. I don't think I've ever seen watermelon juice. What do you mean? I mean, I know... <laughs> just get on. <laughs> You've never seen watermelon juice? I've seen a watermelon and I... I don't think I've seen it before. No, hold on, sorry. Chris, I've not seen juice from a watermelon, I believe, okay? Because what was the other thing that Chris had never had before? A well, gherkin? An olive? An olive? No, it was a, a lychee. A oh, a lychee. Yeah. Okay, fine. Fine, 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 fine. But Dom, you're basically a chef. Take your watermelon juice and you take some vodka. And actually, I'm going to put it into a jug because then it's going to be easier to pour. And it looks fancier. Dom, could you get me some more ice, please, from the freezer? Yeah, dance your way there. That would be good. So, as always, if you've watched episodes before, we don't really like to measure. Well, I don't. So... Into the jug. That was about enough vodka. Yeah, no, I'm going to get mm, into the glass. There you go. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> then I'm going to take a lime. Because everything tastes better with a little bit of lime. So I'm actually going to squeeze a whole lime into the watermelon juice. Did you know what this is called? Officially. A lime squeezer. No, it's called a Mexican elbow. Really? It's really that is what if you if you go onto Amazon and go and put in like Mexican elbow, that's what you can. I suppose it kind of makes sense because yeah. it's lines is mainly made from margaritas, yeah. they come from Mexico. Yeah. So okay, that's that. So we're gonna give that a stir. Is that it? I did that very elegantly, I'll let you know. Not everyone could do it that elegantly and that smoothly. Oh, okay. <laughs> then I'm going to pour it into some, these are champagne coupes. I just really like this kind of style of glass. Now, you don't necessarily need ice if you've chilled it before, but I love ice in a drink. The colder, the better. So I'm just going to pour that into the glasses. Right, here we go. Right, whilst you're doing that, I am going to make a little garnish out of um, the watermelon. There's just something about the red and the green of the watermelon that is so kind of cool and stylish and how lovely that is. I'm also going to add a little bit of mint. Nice. Now, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist the mint just like this, just so you get a bit more flavour. And I'm actually going to put it inside the drink. It might not look the most beautiful, but the flavour of the mint will then just go into the drink. Gorgeous. <laughs> All right, guys, grab it. Oh, cheers, 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 cheers. Enjoy. Okay, here we go. Really refreshing. Yeah, I think so. Because I, <laughs> I think so. I need a bit more. Do you know more. what's really weird? There's something a little bit vegetable-y about it. Yeah, it's Ooh, really yeah. nice. It's Ooh. sort of a bit tomato juicy. Yeah, like it is. seed of a watermelon. Mm. Ooh, it's really, have you eaten many of those? Yeah. Mm, <laughs> Delicious, lovely. isn't it? Mm. Ooh. That doesn't taste like there's enough vodka in it. It's just gorgeous. And guess what? There's quite a lot. <laughs> Is it? Uh, I mean, it, you could just down that, couldn't you? Imagine you really sat on the could. beach oh, or in the garden. Absolutely. Mm. Oh, do you know what we should do? What? Make smash burgers. Okay, let's oh. go. <laughs> yes. We're going to do a smash wrap. Burger. I'm really excited about this because Theo makes an epic smash burger. It's like, honestly, our neighbours talk about it all the time whenever they had one. Um, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> it looks like he's preparing for the <laughs> He looks like what? Yeah, this is, uh, this he's is doing his exercises. He looks like um, some, one of those animals on the plane in the Sahara. <laughs> but like he's, he's torn oh. his calf muscle, so he's out there stretching. 
But you're talking about a smash burger in a wrap. Yes. Okay, let's go. It's so good. We are going to start with the most incredible beef. Yes. Now, this is Wagyu beef. You don't have to use Wagyu beef, but it is exceptionally good. And I think, you know, if you're only going to eat meat occasionally, just spend what you can and get the best you can. Yeah, and this is from an online butcher, so we'll put the link below because it's one that Theo swears by. Gorgeous. Now, I'm not going to season the meat. What I am going to do is add some pre-cooked onions. So this is some sauteed red onions. I've chopped them nice and finely and I've added some oregano garlic powder um, and a little bit of butter and olive oil. I'm going to put some of that into here. Oh wow, okay. Yeah, because you know, a lot of people add onion to their burgers, but raw, like not raw onion, you've got to cook the onion first because biting into raw onion is... No nah, thanks. No one likes that. And then with nice clean hands, I'm literally just going to go in and mush it all up. So, we're going to form these into little balls. Yeah. Um, do you see how I'm, I'm not saying, do you want any help? No, yeah. but you don't want to get your hands. I don't want to get under my long nails, thanks no. so much. So, making little balls. Little okay. Balls. Say it like this big. Okay. So, like a giant meatball. Giant meatball. Then you take your wrap. Wow. And you squish it down. It is as simple as that. You're not going to eat it like that. No, we're going to cook it. <laughs> Checking. <laughs> Okay, so we've made our smash burgers and now we're going to prep the fillings yes. because I think it's nicer to kind of give everyone the chance to pick their own fillings because some people don't like lettuce, some people don't like garlic. I like whatever. everything. Like, I'm one of those people too. that like gets literally everything in their burger. Whatever's on the list, I'll have it. <laughs> and because they're going to be folded up, we don't want everything to be too big, so okay. we're going to do nice kind of chopped lettuce. Yeah. Love a bit of chopped lettuce. Gorgeous. And tomato, that's yeah. kind of a classic, isn't it? Absolutely. And do you know what I can see out of the corner of my eye, which is one of my favourite things? American cheese, square cheese, plastic cheese, plastic whatever cheese. you call this it. This is what we call plastic cheese, and it's the best stuff because it melts so beautifully. So we've got some of that, and then my favourite. My absolute favourite, gherkins. Oh, oh, well done. I'm the type of person that will order chips from the chip shop just to get the chip shop gherkins in the paper for like the 10p one for no one else and I won't eat the yeah, chips on the just big eat the fat gherkin. gherkin love love love, love. One of those. and then of course we can't do anything without our special sauce now we could have made one obviously but M&S obviously <laughs> it's a very very good sauce they're a great one this special burger sauce is like the Big Mac sauce Chris is looking at like have you not had this Chris <gasps> what's, it, what's in it it's it, just special it's, it? ju it's an American inspired burger sauce with a gherkin and dill tang and sweet oh. finish oh, I'm sorry. I'm do you know do you know how they make um, this the make the sauce makes just tastes so good is chopped gherkins yeah. in the sauce. It's just fantastic. Shall we take these smash burgers to our grill? Let's do it. We're gonna barbecue them, right? But yeah. people could do this at home yeah. in that oven. Yeah. Okay. Theo's out there. Theo's been prepping the, the heat for hours, but we're, we're finally ready. <laughs> Let's go. I feel like your glamorous assistant here. Yeah, you look very glamorous. Thank you. All right, we are using our big green egg. Yes. Um, which we set to 400 degrees. Okay. But if you don't have one of these, you can literally use a frying pan. It's really, really easy. The first thing we're going to do is actually oil the burgers rather than the pan, which you would always do when you are making Why do we do burgers. that again? It helps it not stick. If you're, if you're oiling the pan, it, for some reason it sticks. Okay. I don't know the science. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> so we're literally just going to chuck these on here. Yes. Uh, yeah, so here we go. Now, it is literally as easy as Flipping them <gasps> upside Whoa, down. Oh, that's crazy. Right? Yep. I'm like, and is it going to come off? No. And you can see why they're so popular, because that is so simple, right? Well, I'm going to see if they turn OK, because I'm like, hold on. <laughs> so what, about one to two minutes? Yeah, if, yeah, absolutely. OK, hold on. Here we go. We're turning them. Ooh. Ooh. Wow! Oh so, my god, that's so cool! Right? You do need a really good spatula yep. for these to work. Whee! Wow, that's Look at amazing! That. And then we're going to add the fabulous plastic cheese on top. Oh, yes! Oh, look at that! Chuck that on! That one's stuck to the plate, that one's stuck to the plate. <laughs> <laughs> you know when you're like, let's be really prepared. <laughs> there you go. 
And then with all good barbecues, the best way to melt your cheese is to close the lid. Okay. Perfect. And if you've got a pan at home with a lid, do the same thing, like close the lid on the frying yep. pan. Gorgeous. Wow. Oh, how good do these look? Sizzling. Okay. <laughs> look how good these look. <laughs> right, guys, you're going to have to come and have a mouthful, but before you do that, you've got to fill your beans. So put all your toppings you want in it, and then let's taste them. Right. I'm going to go for... I think I'm going to go for lettuce. I'm going to do everything. Dawn, Chris, come and... Oh, don't have to ask me twice. A bit of lettuce. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely having lettuce. A tomato. Oh. Pickle, definitely pickle. Defo and some house burger sauce. Oh, my goodness. Right, and now what? We just fold it up. <laughs> <laughs> you just eat it. And eat. Okay, cheers, guys. <laughs> cheers. <laughs> Good luck. I'm so Good space. <laughs> okay, here we go. Here we go. Uh, one more go. That's so good. Guys, come on. That is like That's a big the best Mac. thing so far. That is so Ooh, good. That is literally like a Big Mac. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh my God. Mm. That's unreal. That oh, is so good. Oh my god. Theo, you have to come and try this. That is so delicious. Guys, honestly, you need to make these. We need to see it. Make sure you tag us in them. Thank you for watching. We're going to go because, like, we need to carry on eating this. <laughs> no. Another mouthful. It's so good. Yeah, have another mouthful done. We'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Mm. <laughs>